In 2004, Casio released the LK78 CD, a 61 key musical keyboard, to the Chinese market. This keyboard is unique in that, along with being the only keyboard of its kind that is not Japanese, it also isn't specifically Chinese either as it has no exclusive tones, rhythms, or song bank tunes, and the hard plastic has no Chinese language printing on it. This keyboard only ever retailed in China, however, all other exclusively Chinese keyboards were always based on an English counterpart with some built-in Chinese-themed enhancements and occasionally a few additional features, so this leads me to believe that Casio had plans to release this keyboard to some English-speaking territories, but this plan was never realized for some reason. It features a large 13.5 cm LED backlit musical information system, showing just about everything one would need to know about the currently playing music, touch response which allows for expressive playing, a guitar input that lets the keyboard act as an amplifier, a CD drive for music expansion, and the key lighting system so it can teach how to play songs, visualize MIDI data, and light keys that are being played up to 10 lights at a time. Key lighting can be disabled or enabled as needed with the press of a button. This keyboard can be powered with a 12 volt center negative power supply or six D-sized batteries. It uses the highly compressed large waveform or HL sound source. The polyphony has a range of 16 to 32 notes depending on how the tones are being used. The built-in stereo speakers are rated for 4 watts each. When powered on, it starts in song bank mode. The keyboard offers 20 song bank tunes, any of which can be selected with the calculator style number buttons or the plus and minus buttons, which can be pressed together to reset a value to the default. A pair of LEDs next to the controller buttons indicate what those buttons do. In song bank mode, pressing the button on the right will play or stop the song. During playback, the musical information system shows the name and index number of both the tone and the song, how to play the song and what fingers to use, a strict approximation of what chord it's using for the rhythm, dynamic marks, a measure and beat counter with metronome and tempo, and a musical step that shows chord forms and the melody, both of which are also shown on the key lighting system. The part select buttons can be used for viewing only one hand part at a time on the musical information system. Playback can be paused and resumed with the pause button. The rewind button takes back playback. When the button is pressed during the first half of a measure, it skips to the beginning of the previous measure. When pressed during the second half, it skips to the beginning of the current measure. When held, it skips back at a rate of about 10 measures per second. The fast forward button skips to the next measure. It skips immediately, even when the button is held down. The repeat button, when first pressed, sets the current measure as the start point of a phrase loop. Then, when pressed again, it sets the current measure as the end point and begins repeating that part of the song. Pressing repeat a third time clears the repeat points. The tone of any song can be changed. One of 264 tones can be selected with the number buttons or the plus and minus buttons. There are also some functions dedicated to making singing along easy and fun. The microphone jack allows for a microphone connection so voices and other environment sounds can be routed through the internal amplifier. It also gets its own volume control. By, By default, default, the keyboard, keyboard will add an echoing, echoing effect to the microphone, the microphone input. input. Pressing the echo button will turn this feature off or on. To enter sing along mode, press the sing along button, or, while playback is not occurring, press the play or stop button right below it. In sing-along mode, the volume and tone of the melody are altered to make singing along easier. Additionally, the key of the song can be adjusted up or down a maximum of 12 semitones with the key control buttons. One of the main features of the song bank is the advanced three-step lesson system, a feature-rich interactive learning system. First, select which hand to practice with. For both hands, press both buttons together. If none is selected, it will automatically choose the right hand part when lesson playback begins. Step 1. Master the timing. Press any key in time with the song. Step 2. Master the notes. The correct notes must be pressed. In step 1 and 2, if they're not pressed in time, the keyboard will say which fingers to use. One. This can be toggled with the speak button. Step 3. Play at normal speed. The selected parts are played manually, while everything else plays automatically. The tempo buttons can be used to slow down or speed up the song. If the left hand part is selected and the song uses chords for the left hand, the accompaniment only plays percussion until you play the correct chord. In addition to the normal three-step lesson steps, there are also scoring versions of each of them that help to track learning progress. As you play, an on-screen meter shows your score and the on-screen stars in the tone indicate how well timed the last note was. 
A thumb piano sounds if the notes were played too early. A steel drum sounds if the notes were played too late. And in scoring three, an agogo sounds if wrong notes are played. There is no voice fingering guide, but the keyboard will periodically remind you of your overall score. If the score is less than 60, the keyboard will say, Keep trying. In the range of 60 to 69, it says, Nice try. In the range of 70 to 89, it says, That's close. If the score is at least 90, it will say, Good. It also plays a sound effect when your rank is about to change. If nothing is played on the keys for a while, the keyboard will try to reassure you by telling you to take your time. After the song is concluded, the keyboard will give you a final score. Like before, different keywords are used that describe your score. If it's less than 60, the keyboard says, try again. In the range of 60 to 69, it will say, not bad. In the range of 70 to 89, it will do this, great. If the score is at least 90, it does this. Bravo! If the score is 100, then this will happen first. While the score is being displayed, pressing any of the part select buttons will display the score for those parts if evaluation was completed for them. If a certain phrase in the song was tricky, the practice phrase button will show the phrase with the lowest score. From here, the player stop button can be pressed and the keyboard will play that phrase repeatedly to help you get a better understanding of how it sounds and how to play it. Then, any of the basic three-step lesson buttons can be used for practicing the phrase. Low phrase scores for other hands can also be displayed. Once you're comfortable enough, the keyboard has a lesson recording feature if you want to save your play to the keyboard's memory. Pressing Song Memory enters Song Memory Playback Standby, and then pressing it again will enter Record Standby. Select the desired hand parts, and then press the Play or Stop button. The notes that are played on the keys during song playback will be saved to memory. Note that you are not required to play the song's notes if you want to play freestyle. Any changes made to the tempo, tones, and digital effects before and even during play will also be saved. If the left hand part is selected and the song uses chords for the left hand, you can play chords and notes and the keyboard saves both. You do have to play the correct chords though, you cannot use your own. When the song is finished or the player stop button is pressed, the keyboard saves the recording and goes back to song memory playback standby, where the player stop button will play back what was recorded. To exit song memory, press song memory twice. The recording remains in memory even after powering off the keyboard. However, power from either the AC adapter or batteries must continually be supplied. To delete the recording, enter song memory record standby and then hold the song memory button until track delete appears on the screen. During that point, the minus button means no and the plus button means yes. Answer yes. The recording is deleted and it returns to song memory playback standby. Note that to make a new recording, it is not necessary to delete the existing recording first. In addition to the 20 accompaniment tunes in the song bank, there are also 20 etudes and 20 concert pieces grouped into a 40 piano bank, which can be accessed by pressing the piano bank button. The piano bank functions the same as the song bank, except that both hands make up the melody, and sing-along cannot be used. Except for when the tone is highlighted, pressing piano bank will set the tone to stereo piano. Pressing both the song bank and piano bank buttons together will play all built-in tunes consecutively. Only the rewind, fast forward, player stop, song bank, piano bank, split, layer, key light, plus, minus, and number buttons can be used in this mode. There are 60 built-in tunes, but the song bank can be expanded with up to 10 more tunes in song bank slots 20 through 29. A MIDI connection is required to do this. The easiest way to add custom songs is by using Casio's SMF Converter, a utility that converts a standard MIDI file to the Casio Music Library file format, which can be downloaded from the Casio Music site. To use it, drag a MIDI file on top of the program, click the OK button on the dialog box, select your keyboard's MIDI in and out device from the menus if you haven't done so already, choose which slot to send the tune to, and then click Send. After it's finished sending, the newly transferred song appears on the display ready for playback. Depending on what's transferred, features like fingering and practice phrase may not be available, but lesson recording, sing-along, and the advanced three-step lesson system will still work. 
The main selling point of this keyboard, and what the model number references, is the Music Data Expansion CD drive, which can read music data from a read-only, recordable, or rewritable CD. The keyboard recognizes two types of music data. Type A discs contain Casio music data. These could be in the form of specialized Casio discs or user-created discs. When creating a disc, just putting MIDI files on it will not work. They would need to be converted, which can be done by using the SMF Converter's Save as a CM2 file option. The keyboard can play up to 99 tracks on one disc, and they can be navigated even while the song name is flashing. These tunes behave just like song bank tunes, except that lesson recording is disallowed. For songs that support it, lyrics are displayed if sing-along is active. They'd have to have been hard-coded in the CM2 file because the SNF converter does not convert lyrics from standard MIDI files. When using Type-A discs, the selected tune is copied into the same memory used for the user's song bank for playback. If a file is too large to fit alongside the user's song bank, Memory Full, Data Delete will appear on the screen. Answering No will cause it to switch to the song bank mode. Answering Yes will erase the user's song bank, and then it will continue to load the CD tune. This does not affect song memory recordings. Type B discs contain audio data. This is the standard CD digital audio format that CD players use. When a Type B disc is detected, a timer appears on the display, and the keyboard is ready to play the audio. Press the Player Stop button to begin. The narration for this portion of the review is being played from an audio CD for demonstration purposes. When playing an audio CD, the volume is controlled with the dedicated volume knob independent from the main volume. The keyboard can still be played while listening to an audio CD. The playback controller basically becomes a group of CD player buttons. The pause button pauses playback. Rewind skips back into playback. Back button. Fast forward skips forward into playback. Pause. The repeat button sets the start point of a loop. Repeat can be used across multiple tracks. Pressing repeat again sets the end point and begins repeating that section of the audio. Repeat can be used across multiple tracks. A different track is selected with the number buttons or the plus and minus buttons. If the sing-along button is pressed, the keyboard applies a vocal reduction filter to the audio. The quality of the resulting sound and the intensity of the vocal reduction effect varies depending on how the sound bends over in the original source audio. The keyboard also has a real-time clock so it can keep the time of day and it can be configured to automatically power on and start playing any tune. To set it up, hold down layer while pressing split. Anything currently playing will be stopped and the keyboard will show the current time and the power on time. To set the current time, press split to highlight the time and then enter the current time in 24-hour format. For example, 3.10 p.m. is entered as 15.10 and 12.40 a.m. is entered as 00.40. The time is set once the final digit is entered. The plus and minus buttons can also be used for small adjustments. To set the power on time, press layer if the power on time is not already highlighted, which will activate the power on timer, and then enter a power on time. Each press of layer toggles the activation of the power on timer. When it's activated, select any song bank, user, piano bank, or CD type A or B tune, and then power off the keyboard. Once the current time becomes the power on time, the keyboard will power on and start playing the tune that was selected. Rhythms and song memory cannot be used as a power on tune. All of these features operate collectively in a type of song bank mode. The other operating mode is the rhythm mode, which is entered by pressing the rhythm button and where the keyboard's features can be used to make a live performance. There are 120 rhythms to choose from, and they operate with the controller buttons, where the LED next to rhythm is now lit. Pressing the start or stop button will begin normal rhythm playback or stop it. The intro, normal, or variation buttons will also start the rhythm, but in the pattern indicated by the button that was pressed. Alternatively, the synchro button will cause it to wait until the keyboard is played to start the rhythm. When it's pressed, both of the on-screen metronome rods will blink in time with the currently selected tempo. Any one of the intro, normal, or variation patterns can be chosen during this time. When the rhythm starts playing depends on the chord detection mode. The normal mode makes all keys melody keys with no chords. The rhythm synchro starts when any of the lower keys are pressed. By default, there are 18. Casio chord provides four basic chords. The lowest note pressed on the lower keys is the root, and the chord type depends only on how many lower keys after this note are pressed, not which keys. With this mode and the following two modes, the rhythm synchro starts when a chord is played. The fingered mode allows any of 18 chords and 20 fraction chords to be played on the lower keys. For fraction chords to work, the bass note must be at least 7 notes below the chord. 
Full range chord makes all of the keys behave as both chord keys and melody keys. Chords can be played even after manually starting the rhythm. While a rhythm is playing, any of the pattern buttons can be pressed to change how the rhythm progresses. If the button for the current pattern is pressed, a fill-in for that pattern plays. The button can be held down to insert multiple fill-ins in a row. If the current pattern or rhythm is changed in the middle of a measure, the keyboard waits until the next measure to make the change. If the ending pattern is let play all the way through without intervention, rhythm playback automatically stops. The keyboard has a guitar input jack, so it can amplify the output of an electric guitar or bass. This keyboard is general MIDI compatible, meaning that the keyboard can properly play general MIDI information received from a computer or other device. It can also act like a MIDI controller for use with commercially available music sequencing software. This feature is accessed via two 5-pin MIDI ports on the back of the keyboard. This is being mentioned now because the following features send MIDI events. For reference, channel 10 is the percussion channel. The keyboard can be transposed up or down 12 semitones with the transpose buttons if needed. Changes to this setting are also sent as course tuning events to all MIDI channels. It also includes reverb and chorus effects which can be configured with a reverb and chorus button. If one of the effects are on, pressing this button will open the menu for that effect. Each effect has four types numbered from 0 through 3. Note that 0 does not mean off. If the menu is already open, pressing this button will toggle the effects in a binary fashion. Reverb only, chorus only, both on, or both off. There is no menu if they're both on or off. If any of these settings are changed, a system exclusive MIDI event is sent, and if the chorus is toggled, effects 3 depth events are also sent on channels 1 through 8 and 15. The metronome button starts playback of a metronome and shows the beats per measure setting. It can be set to 0 for consistent clicking, or 2 through 6 so that a bell sounds after that many beats. The tempo can be adjusted between 30 and 255 beats per minute, and it can be set with the number buttons or the plus and minus buttons while it's blinking. The metronome beats are also output as MIDI note events on channel 9. The metronome should be stopped with the metronome button as pressing the start or stop button will also begin rhythm playback. The keys can be set up to play two instruments together, be divided into two sections for different instruments, or both. Before beginning, make sure to choose a main tone. To play two instruments on the same keys, press layer and then set the layered tone. Pressing the keys will now play both instruments. Layered notes are sent on MIDI channel 2. Pressing layer again turns it off. The selected layered instrument is remembered. To play two instruments on different sections of keys, press split and then choose a split tone. The split tone sounds on the lower keys and is sent on MIDI channel 3 and the main tone sounds on the higher keys. These two features can also both be used at the same time, so there are two groups of layered instruments. When doing this, the lower keys also have their own layered tone, which is shown on the display and can be adjusted. Note events with this tone are sent on MIDI channel 4. If a layered split tone is not desired, some workarounds include setting it to a quiet instrument or to the same tone as the split tone. The split point can be adjusted by holding down the split button while pressing a keyboard key. The key that is pressed becomes the lowest note of the main tone. This also affects the accompaniment chord range so that more chords can be played. Note that if split is turned on, the lower notes continue to sound in fingered mode. What you play can also be saved to the keyboard in a performance recording. It behaves like a lesson recording, except there is no definite end, up to two tracks can be saved, and control over the rhythms is granted for one of the tracks. Press song memory twice from the normal mode to enter record standby. If the rhythm won't be used, the metronome can still keep the beat, which should be enabled before recording if this is desired, though keep in mind that the beats per measure will instead depend on the rhythm setting during recording. Then the keyboard can be played normally. Changes made to the rhythm, tempo, tones, and digital effects are saved. During this time, MIDI events are still sent, including the metronome if enabled, and the MIDI clock.
Recording stops when either the rhythm's ending pattern is fully played or the start or stop button is pressed, and at that point, it returns to song memory playback standby. The recording can be played as it is without a second track. During playback, MIDI clock events are sent, main notes are sent on channel 5, layered notes on channel 6, split notes on channel 7, and layered split notes on channel 8. To record to track 2, press song memory again to enter record standby, press the track 2 button, and either press the start or stop button or begin playing the keyboard to start recording. Track 1 also plays during recording. Only changes to the tone can be made and layer and split are disabled, but the metronome can still be used. Anything played on the keyboard is sent on MIDI channel 15 during track 2 recording and playback. The start or stop button must be pressed to stop recording. When the recording is played, both tracks play together. Pressing any or both of the track buttons will silence the melody of that track and redirect it to the key lighting system. Also note that track 2 does not require data to exist in track 1, so it can be used, for example, as an easy way to record a piano piece. To delete a track, enter Song Memory Record Standby, select the track to be deleted, and then hold down the Song Memory button until Track Delete appears on the screen. Answering No will exit the menu and remain in Record Standby. Answering Yes will delete the track and return to Song Memory Playback Standby. A track can be overwritten without deleting it first. The setting button can be used for adjusting miscellaneous settings about keyboard behavior. Each press of this button cycles between 10 options, and if the menu is exited by timeout or by another button, pressing setting opens the menu on the last option shown. Option 1, touch response. This menu adjusts the sensitivity of touch response on this keyboard. It can be turned off or have a normal or high sensitivity. Option 2, accompaniment or song volume. In rhythm mode, this sets the volume of the rhythm. In song bank mode, this sets the volume of the whole song. This setting ranges from 0 to 127. Option 3, Tune. This menu adjusts the tuning of the sounds on this keyboard. It can be tuned from negative 50 to 50 cents. Changes to this setting are also sent as fine tuning events to all MIDI channels. Option 4, General MIDI Mode. This makes all 16 MIDI channels on the keyboard behave normally. If this is turned off, the keyboard will recognize chords on one of the channels depending on the chord detection mode setting. This is useful for basic control of the accompaniment from a computer or other sequencer. Option 5, Keyboard Channel. This changes which channel keyboard playing is sent to. This does not affect the layer, split, or layered split tones. If GM mode is turned off, this is also the channel where chord detection operates. Option 6, Navigate Channel. This changes which pair of channels are shown on the key lighting system. The setting shown is used as right hand key lighting, and the one before it is used as left hand key lighting. Pressing any or both of the part select buttons will silence the respective channel's MIDI input and only show it on the key lighting system. If channel 1 is selected for the right hand, channel 16 becomes the left hand. Program changes on silenced channels change the main tone. Option 7, Local Control. This determines which device should be responsible for controlling the keyboard's sounds. If this is turned on, the keyboard produces sounds independently during play. If this is turned off, all responsibility for controlling the keyboard's sound is given to the connected MIDI device while everything played on the keyboard is only sent as a MIDI message. Note that key lighting echo is also disabled regardless of the key lighting setting. Option 8, Accompaniment Out. Turning this on causes the keyboard to output rhythm playback as MIDI messages along with the MIDI clock. This also applies to performance recordings, but not song bank playback or lesson recordings. Option 9, Assignable Jack. This configures what the connected pedal does when pressed. SUS or sustain causes all of the played notes to continue sounding until the pedal is released. SOS or sostenuto causes only the currently held notes to be sustained. SFT or soft lowers the volume of notes that are played. RHY or rhythm makes the pedal another start or stop button. It also works in song bank mode. Option 10, Demo 2. This tells the keyboard whether or not it should light the keys after 6 minutes to remind you that it is on. This is cancelled by pressing any button or key, however, the keyboard will return to the last song bank mode used and some of the MIDI channel's properties will be changed by the currently selected song. Note that on battery power, this option does not apply and after 6 minutes, instead of lighting the keys, it powers off automatically. The next time the keyboard is turned on, all of the settings will be reset. This can be prevented by disabling auto power off, which is done by holding tone while powering on the keyboard.
Before entering diagnostics, it is important to know that as soon as the diagnostic program is launched, all song memory and user songs are erased. Make sure that a copy of all important data is available before continuing. With this in mind, to enter diagnostics, open the CD drive, which is not necessary if the CD drive lid switch test is not needed, and then hold down zero while turning on the unit. It'll take longer than normal to start up, and zero can be released at that point. Once started, TST will appear on the display. To test the console switches, make sure that the mode switch is set to normal, press zero, and then perform these operations. CLK should appear on the display. To test touch response, press 1. TCH will appear on the display. Press any key with varying amounts of speed. A hexadecimal number will appear indicating how swiftly a key was pressed. The assignable jack can also be tested here. Connect a pedal to the back of the unit and then press down on the pedal. SUS will appear. To test the ROM checksum, press 2. OOK should appear on the display. To check the ROM version, press 3. The model code will be displayed first. This unit's model code is 644. Press any console button and then it will display the ROM version. This unit's ROM is version 2.37. It appears as 237 because only three characters are used in diagnostics. To test the sound, press 4. It will play a tone at minimum volume. Press 5. It will play a tone at medium volume. Press 6. It will play a tone at maximum volume. Press 7. It will play a tone on the left speaker at maximum volume. Press 8. It will play a tone on the right speaker at maximum volume. To test the MIDI, connect a MIDI cable to both the MIDI in and out ports. Press 9. DOK should appear on the display. To test the power supply detection, make sure that there are good batteries installed in the unit, then remove the DC power connector from the inlet. Press minus. JER should appear on the display. Plug the DC power connector back into the inlet. JOK should appear immediately. To test the SRAM, press plus. AOK should appear on the display. To test the console LEDs, press speak. The LEDs for song bank controller, rhythm controller, CD type A, CD type B, song bank, piano bank, data access, and sing along should light consecutively and repeatedly. To test the keyboard LEDs, press scoring one. The white keys in each octave and then the black keys in each octave should light repeatedly. To test the keys, press scoring two. Then press each key and make sure that the LED for the key that was pressed lights up. To test the real-time clock, press scoring 3. After a brief pause, TOK should appear on the display. To test the LCD, press any of the following buttons. Step 1 will show one screen that turns all segments on. Step 2 will show two screens that fill the text area with two different halftone patterns. Step 3 will show two screens that fill the non-text segments with two different halftone patterns. Left slash track 1 will play a four-screen looping animation with one-second delays that fill the left, bottom, right, and then top parts of the screen. Right slash track 2 will play a looping animation with one tenth second delays that shows each non-text segment that the screen has. To test the CD drive lid switch, press CD. UOK should appear on the display. To test the software power off function, press practice phrase. The unit should turn off. The diagnostics are complete. The fraction slash is never shown during any of the LCD tests in diagnostics. Playing a chord and then keeping it held down while changing the rhythm will cause the chord to vanish, but then starting rhythm playback when it's still held down will start the rhythm with that chord. When using fraction chords, the bass note forgets the rhythm's bass breakpoint, and its octave varies depending on its original position in the rhythm.
When using fraction chords, multiple notes and rhythm channels that use the seventh chord conversion are treated as bass notes and are converted as such. When using fraction chords, the sharper flat symbol is always chosen based on the bass note. The displayed chords are still correct but inconsistent with normal keyboard behavior. A minor 7th over C is treated as a valued user chord despite not being recognized as its own chord. If this chord is used during song memory performance recording, it gets treated as no chord. Suspended fourth chords are converted to major chords in the minor chord chord conversion. When accompaniment out is turned on and a note overlaps with another note in the same position during rhythm play, that note does not get sent. This is a significant problem with a percussion in many rhythms. During a chord retrigger, if a lower note tries to use a note that a higher note used, the higher note turns off the lower note's new note. Playing a chord and switching to song bank mode with the right timing will play the chord using the tones of the currently selected song's initial rhythm. Skipping forward to a part of the song that's still a count beat will not reset the count beat. Selecting both hand play while in evaluation mode will cause the scoring one indicator to appear regardless of which step you're actually on. Every 32,768 measures played in song bank mode, the measure counter will switch between displaying a number and displaying two zeros with a character at the end. <laughs> 